Hey guys, what's up? It's Uniformware, and today we have another original paracord bracelet tutorial. I'm naming this one the Double Cobra Stitch Paracord Bracelet because that is essentially what it is. Once again, I am calling it an original, but it is a pretty basic idea, so I wouldn't be surprised if someone's come up with it before. So let's get started. First thing you're going to need is four different strands of paracord, about five feet each, depending on the length of your wrist. I'm using a blue, a crimson, and then two white. So you're going to take your two main colors, which for me are going to be my blue and crimson. You're just going to clip the ends of those and then melt them and press them together. Try to make sure you have a good seal on those. Go a little bit off of the connected part and then just bend the cord back. You're gonna measure that around your wrist. Take the measurement of your wrist and minus about an inch or half an inch. And then bend those two cords back towards yourself. You're just gonna do a cobra stitch. So take your left cord, put it over the middle two strands. Take your right cord, put it over that strand. Behind the two middle strands and up through the left loop. You don't want to tighten that. Go ahead and check that around your wrist again, making sure there's just a little gap. So here I accidentally flipped around my bracelet, so I'm gonna be using the left cord again, but basically take the cord that is not in front on the top cobra stitch. So for me, that will be the blue, and put that cord in front of the two middle strands. Take your red cord, wrap it around the blue cord behind the two middle strands and up through that left loop. And go ahead and get your white cord. Take the end of the white cord and just run it down through that top left loop and then put it up and off to the side. Take your other white strand and put it down through that right loop and then put it up and off to the side. And go ahead and tighten that cover stitch. Then you're going to do a cobra stitch with the white cord. Since you have the blue cord going off to the right, you're going to take your left white strand and then it's going to follow the path of that blue strand. So it's going to go over the middle two strands. And then take your other white cord, make sure that white cord goes around the blue strand so the blue strand is coming up towards you. And take that white strand, put it over your original white strand behind the two middle strands and up through that left loop. You're just going to tighten that. After you tighten that, you're just going to want to grab those two white cords and kind of pull them towards the middle and up and out of the way. That'll just make sure that all the cords stay in the right place when you do the next cobra stitch. Then you're going to take your blue cord and it is going to go over the middle two strands. Take your red cord, put it over that strand behind the two middle strands and up through that right loop and then tighten that. After you tighten those two strands, make sure you tighten the white strands. And then pull those two colored strands up and out of the way. Then once again, you just want to use whichever white cord is going to be following the blue cord. So you're going to use that right white strand and it's going to go over the two middle strands.
Take your white left strand, put it over your other white strand, behind the two middle strands, and up through that right loop, and then just tighten that. Once again, make sure you tighten those two colored strands also. Pull the white strands up and out of the way. And then do the same thing. So the blue strand is gonna go over the middle two strands. The red strand's gonna go over that strand, behind the middle two strands, and up through that left loop. And you're just gonna continue doing this braid until you get down to the bottom. Once again, with the two white cords, you just wanna make sure that you use the cord that follows that blue cord, and that'll make sure you don't forget which cord you have to do next. So you're going to continue that all the way down to the bottom. You want to end with your two white strands because you're going to do a special cobra stitch with the other two strands. So we're going to do everything the same and then take your blue strand, pull it down through that middle loop. Take your red strand and pull it up through that middle loop. And then you're going to pull the blue strand up through that right loop. And pull the red strand down through the left loop. Then you're going to take that left white strand and pull it down through the loop, moving it out of the way. And then you're going to take the right white strand and pull it down through that loop. You want to do that just to make sure both of the white strands go to the back of the bracelet. Then you're going to tighten your blue and red strands. And then you're going to clip both of those white strands and melt them. When you clip them, make sure they're pretty close to the bracelet. And then go up to the top and go ahead and clip those white strands and melt those. And then go up to the top and you're just going to want to loosen those two top loops there. And then you're going to pull those two cords through. So grab your top cord and pull it through that top loop. And grab the bottom cord and pull it through the bottom loop. And you're going to want to tighten that all the way and make sure there are no twists in the cord. And then go ahead and try that over the largest part of your wrist. Make sure it fits and then mark that spot. And you're just going to do a regular square knot. So take those two strands, wrap them around your two fingers, making a loop, and then pull the two strands through the loop. Then go ahead and tighten that knot down to the hemostats. Try it over your wrist one more time just to make sure it fits. And then go a little bit off of that knot and clip those two strands. Then just go ahead and melt those. And then you're done. Anyway guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, I was wondering, do you guys prefer the bracelets with buckles or without buckles? So obviously this bracelet does not have a buckle. It's kind of the adjustable closure type. So if you prefer that, then please let me know in the comments because a lot of these bracelets I can do with either a buckle or with the adjustable closure type. So if you guys have a preference to either one, let me know. Anyway, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.